Hey everyone, today I'm talking to Dr. Graham Siglet, uh, ND, and Dr. Graham Siglet works out of the Grove Wellness in Campbell River, but also he works out of Yellow, Yellow Cedar Integrated Wellness in Campbell River. Uh, welcome. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. Um, I really love the idea of the body having the ability or capability to heal itself, and I really feel passionate about uh, helping people find resources that uh, get support that goal or support that idea. Can you tell me about yourself and what you offer in our community? Yeah, well, I'm a naturopathic doctor. I've been practicing in the Comox Valley for a year now. Uh, my practice is pretty diverse and in small towns, that's typically the case. I see a lot of uh, general medicine, like mm -hmm. allergies, skin, gut health. I do have a focus in uh, integrative oncology, mm -hmm. as well as uh, autoimmune conditions. And uh, I do regenerative injection techniques like prolotherapy and uh, really love acupuncture and always a big emphasis on uh, the mind-body connection with patients. That's great. That's great. I love, I love all those things. Um, do, you, do you find that people have a general awareness of what a naturopathic doctor does? Uh, no, t typically not. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when I was going through school, my, my friends would be like, oh, how are things going at Hogwarts? And uh, you know, they, <laughs> My they, potions. <laughs> totally, yeah. And, and although we did, we do some training in medicine making with botanicals, uh, it is a really rigorous program uh, based, uh, foundationally based in biomedical sciences. So, you know, our, our teachers range from medical doctors to chiropractors, naturopaths, uh, PhDs, so quite, quite a rigorous medical program uh, with, with just a different philosophy in terms of, of how we approach patients and how we approach um, healing. Mm -hmm. And how do you find that, um, that naturopathic medicine and, and I want to say traditional medicine or mainstream medicine work together? To me, there's they they work great together. I, I have uh, some really good working relationships with uh, local physicians. Uh, we we bounce ideas off each other. They can provide uh, a lot more resources in terms of diagnostics, uh, and and we help fill the gaps and uh, and help support patients in in different ways. You know, our training in nutrition is really great. Uh, Chinese medicine, acupuncture. And just really supporting the body's ability to to heal and and to give the the body what it needs. Uh, I think one of our big strengths is and and something that even medical doctors appreciate about us is is the time that we're able to to spend with patients. You know, an initial consult with me is is typically around an hour long, and uh, we go through a, a extensive health history and and create a plan. And you know, oftentimes after that first appointment, I'll I'll hear from patients like, "Wow, I, I feel so heard and." And I'm so glad that we have uh, a plan moving forward. Right, right. So it's not that it's one or another, one or the other, but rather that you guys can work together as a team to create a overall health and wellness um, plan. Absolutely, yeah. I'm I am not the kind of uh, naturopathic medicine or the highway kind of guy. I I, I love uh, working with other practitioners. The the more heads put together, the better for the patient. And uh, that's that's one of the great things about the Grove uh, in Courtney is I think there's twelve of us, twelve different practitioners, and uh, you know we we usually meet twice a month and we discuss difficult cases and we and we share a lot of patients together and. Uh, yeah, I'm learning from a lot of experienced practitioners there. So, and 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 always learning from medical doctors as well. And I, I think that um, yeah, there's there's a place for all kind of healers in in the world. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, the the Grove has quite a quite a lineup for their team. It's great. Yeah, yeah, and we're still doing our uh, monthly or biweekly meetings over uh, over Zoom. So okay. we we're still, still collaborating and uh, keeping in touch and keeping the kind of community and team spirit alive there. Perfect, that's really good. I, w I was yeah. in there, I don't know, a month and a half ago now, and uh, the space is also very beautiful. They've done a really good job with that. With that yes. Space. yes, yeah. Nice space. That's awesome. Um, how, how did you get into your field? 
Um, well, my my grandpa, he was a medical doctor. He was an anesthesiologist. So okay. uh, medicine has always kind of been in our family. Uh, my mom, she was had a really balanced approach. She she loved conventional medicine, but she was also into different herbs. And as I started exploring my own health uh, through athletics and lo looking for ways to optimize my my performance as an athlete, I I got really into nutrition. Did a lot of uh, research in high school. I was brewing ginseng teas on my high school volleyball team and uh, trying different herbs for for calming. Uh, so I, I really have just always been fascinated by what natural medicine can offer. Um, and yeah, now I, I knew I'd always work in healthcare. And, and once I saw the program of what naturopathic medicine was, what it encompassed in terms of, you know, the biomedical sciences, uh, the study of uh, pathology, physiology, pharmacology, and then balancing that with, with extensive nutrition courses, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, nutrition, mm -hmm physical medicine I was just like why why am I not in this program so mm. uh, yeah I took took the plunge and um, uh, geared up for another four years of intense school but uh, yeah it's, it's an extremely rewarding profession and I, I love the ability to connect with patients and help them find the root cause of their of their condition and, and really empower them to just to live a, a better healthier life nice and I love the um the, I love the idea that you just actually pointed out in your answer there too around um, that health is not always from a um, place of disease or disease or or wrong, but op it can be from a place of optimization. So yeah, you know, people who are really healthy, there's always that um, another level of of exploration. In terms yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those are fun patients. Um, the high level athletes that are looking to um, to invest in their health and, and just get that extra edge in performance that I have a lot of fun with that. That's very cool. I love that. Um, and so these have been crazy times. Uh, yeah. yeah. How do you see this sort of shifting? Well, it has shifted uh, the wellness community in terms of how we're able to connect with clients now. Mm -hmm. Are you, how are you seeing clients now? And how do you see that sort of merging going forward? Yeah, so, so right now I'm, I'm offering uh, telemedicine and, and phone calls, consults primarily. Uh, the BC government has declared that naturopathic medicine is an essential service. Okay. But we're being encouraged only to offer that for um, emergency or urgent care. So if someone's um, in a lot of pain, that, that would be a scenario where, where we can open the doors again. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm definitely committed to uh, flattening the curve and I'm, I'm really... Uh, feeling optimistic about how we're doing as a province and and as at the island in general. Yeah. Um, so right now I'm I'm connecting with uh, current patients and and quite a quite a few new patients over telemedicine and um, we're still able to bill through direct uh, direct benefits um, for the telemedicine consultations as well. Okay, that that brings up a good point. So it, are you? is your service covered by medical like MSP or it would be extended um, benefits that cover you? Extended, extended benefits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. So in these times, uh, what are some strategies that you personally use to manage stress or uncertainty? Yeah, well, I, I, I've actually kind of let some of my own practices fall off a little bit uh, in the last week was just, in some ways was enjoying the free time, the extra sleep, and then um, my own practices, which usually include meditation, qigong, yoga, uh, those, those fell off a little bit. And then so, and as I'm working with a lot of patients right now, um, I noticed that I was starting to, to be a little more anxious, feeling a little more run down, uh, a little more tired, even though that, you know, technically I've got many hours in the day to take care of myself, but it, I found in the last week it was uh, I, I was letting go of those practices. So, so for me, foundationally, um, meditation is is a big part of my life. Um, has been since a young age when I uh, was using it to help with athletic performance, and 
I spent um, times in Thailand uh, at, at monasteries learning about meditation. So for me now, it's a really humble practice and it's important for me to, to sit on my meditation cushion uh, first thing in the morning and, and every night before bed as well. And uh, that's different kind of breathing techniques, different types of guided meditations. Um, but, but that's a focal point for me at this time. And then on top of that, uh, trying to get outside as much as I can. And, and, you know, I, I was still doing that. I, I was running, I was, we've got kettlebells at home. So we're bringing those outside. And so still moving, still being really active outside, but trying to do some, some mindfulness and, and slowing down outside. And, you know, yesterday I was leaving the office in Campbell River and I took the old highway home and uh, back to Cumberland and it was just a, a stunning night. So I pulled over and took my shoes and socks off and walked around uh, on the wet sand and uh, just realizing that I haven't been stopping despite, I, despite all this free time where, where I can stop. Yeah. Nice. Isn't it interesting? Um, we were talking in a, another uh, chat I did about there is this global pause. They talk about the global pause, um, but it's such a shift and it's different for people who are still working or having to provide services in some way or having to shift their services. In a way, it's almost um, busier. Uh, yeah. and, and so it has a tendency to sort of knock us out of, a, out, of, out of those habits and have to sort of reassess in a different way where lots of people are also talking about just having nothing to do and really kind of getting into a routine which maybe they didn't have time for before. Mm -hmm. so it was so interesting to see how it's, it's affected everybody differently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a tip you would like to share either um, an exercise or, or something that helps us to support our body, mind, or soul? Um, during these times something you would yeah do. i've got i've got a few you can just stop me when i start <laughs> too long at a time <laughs> yeah i think um you know i would really encourage mindful breathing um that the word meditation can be really intimidating for people mm -hmm. i think people have uh high expectations of what it means to meditate uh to some they think it's a a moment of stillness where your thoughts completely stop but mm -hmm. just to to sit mindfully or stand mindfully and uh, breathe deeply and just just feel your body can can do so much to to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system so mm -hmm. your rest and digest calming part of your nervous system which right now you know we're we're faced with a lot of fear and uncertainty of of what the future holds and i think it's really important to to come back to that, I, I think being really mindful of, of what you're eating and, and putting in your body, this is an excellent time to, to take care of your health and, uh, you know, spend some more time in the kitchen and try and get more, more fresh vegetables and, and uh, healthy whole food into your life. Um, and then just community, some, something like this, I'm, I'm really appreciating the ability to reach out to other practitioners and in my field and, and other fields and and just being open about about how we feel because um, we've probably all heard this there, there's no right way to feel right now um, and it's a really strange strange time to, to navigate so mm -hmm. I think the more that we can connect with people um, and be open about how we're feeling and, and uh, it can go a long way for for our health right now Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Presence, right? There's no, uh, there's no, <laughs> no real way to sort of plan for the future right now because we just don't know. So if we can really step into that, um, living in the moment, being present to whatever it is at that time. Yeah. E equanimity, the, mm -hmm. uh, a peaceful acceptance of what is without giving up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you're taking some uh, telehealth patients and you, we will return to some sort of normal. Um, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at both my uh, <clears throat> clinic websites. So the, uh, the Grove Health and Wellness and uh, Yellow Cedar Integrative Wellness can uh, directly reach me through there. I'm on, I'm on Facebook, uh, Dr. Graham Siglet, naturopathic physician. Okay. And, uh, and I'm on Instagram as well, Dr. Graham Siglet, MD. It's my Instagram handle. 
And yeah, a lot of people reaching out through Facebook and Instagram right now. So I am answering uh, direct messages that way. Okay, well, it was really great to touch base today and, and meet you because this is the first time we've met. Yeah. Um, and I hope to see you in the community soon. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. It was so nice to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I wish you good health. Thank you. You as well. Take care. Bye-bye.